Hey guys, in today's video, I will be talking about Major Winter Storm Herald. This is a massive blizzard and just a massive storm in general that's going to be impacting everywhere from, in fact, the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, down through the deep south, the Gulf states, the southeast, all the way up through the northeast mid-atlantic and new england all of those areas are going to be affected by this storm you can see i'm showing you the national weather services um map of all of the weather alerts that are going on right now pretty much everything from the very central um states of the u.s from north dakota down through texas east is all alerts related to Winter Storm Herald. This is a massive storm and it's going to bring, first of all, currently it's bringing blizzard conditions and very, very, it just extreme blizzard conditions to the upper Midwest, particularly Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa. You can see that's shaded in the orange color. That's the blizzard warning alerts. Winter storm warning alerts are in the pink. Winter weather advisories are in those darker blues, kind of purplish colors. And then even stretching down into uh, the deep south, the Gulf states, let's zoom into around the New, New Orleans area. Um, this is a um, lake wind warning. Um, or no, sorry, no. Sorry, this is a lake wind advisory, not a warning. Lake wind uh, advisory. And then there's a gale warning, um, small craft advisory. Uh, this, this is all, that's all associated to this massive storm. And then you can see, looking out farther east to the northeast mid-Atlantic New England, um, this, let's just zoom in, let's, let's, let's just zoom into the New York City area. So, we have many, many alerts going on for the New York City area. We have a high wind warning in effect, a storm warning in effect, that's, that's a dark purple. Uh, gale warning in effect, that's the pink. Uh, small craft advisory is within there too. Uh, wind advisory, flood watch, hazardous weather outlook. The flood watch is in the greens. That also extends into New York City, Long Island, and Connecticut. Um, so all of these regions are getting going to be getting extreme impacts from the storm, but it's going to be primarily the warm, wet, windy side of the storm. The winds could be, in fact, let's actually, let's, let's zoom back in to the New York City area. I want to, let's zoom in here. Let's, let me show you, uh, let's see, what does this say here? Um, here, high wind watch. Here's a high wind watch. Um, it says, let's see, the, well, the heavy rain here, strong to damaging su southeast winds here. On this top portion here. I don't know if you guys will really be able to read this, but it says um, potential for sustained 25 to 35 mile per hour winds and 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Strongest winds within the high wind watch area. Um, strongest winds within the high wind, wind watch area. Potential for scattered tree damage and power outages and damage to uh, unsecured outdoor objects. Difficult travel, especially for high profile vehicles. And then the heavy rain that will accompany the strong winds. By the way, um, the, the sustained winds alone are going to be enough to really blow around um, and knock over lots of objects and really blow around those trees, really put weight onto those trees, really push them around. But then those wind gusts of up to 50 to 60 miles per hour, that's really going to be bringing down those power outages and potentially some trees in uh, some cases. So... There's that, and then on top of which we're going to have the heavy rain with that, and it says a potential for two to three inches of rain, potential for urban and poor drainage flooding. Flooding along quick uh, responding streams and creeks, uh, northeast New Jersey, nor uh, northeast New Jersey and lower Hudson Valley, and flooding along portions of larger um, stem rivers in northeast New Jersey and southern Connecticut. Overall, mostly minor flooding is expected. Now, even with the case of the heavy rainfall flooding, even if it's going to be minor flooding, that's still going to be quite significant, especially with the fact that it's going to be accompanied, again, with these very strong winds. The temperatures are going to start off very warm with this rain and wind in these regions, where temperatures are going to soar into the 50s for highs, into the mid-50s, even potentially for some uh, 60s temperatures in some locations in the mid-Atlantic and northeast. 
And then going into, this is all going to start tomorrow, by the way, for these regions in New York City and generally all of the northeast New England. It's going to start tomorrow, Christmas Eve, particularly in the afternoon, and it's going to last through Christmas Day into about the, towards noon and early afternoon hours. Um, so, uh, that's all going to, that's all going to start with the warm side. The rain and wind are going to be along with this warm side with those temperatures, again, really warm into the 50s, even 60s in some spots. And then going into Christmas Day, once that, uh, rain and wind, uh, moves through these regions, and let's just say the New York City area, um, th once that, all that very heavy rain and wind moves through the New York City area, that's going to be along a cold front, and that cold front's going to be very, very potent and strong. Once it moves through, temperatures are going to plummet very quickly through the rest of Christmas Day into Christmas night, where it's going to go from temperatures in the morning hours through around maybe the early afternoon hours in the 40s, 50s, maybe 60s in some areas. It's going to plummet down into the 20s, 30s, 40s for some areas. Overnight, it's going to drop into the back down into the 20s and 30s, so it's going to be a very, very strong, potent cold front. And in fact, I want to say this, uh, I do want to say this particularly um, right now, this storm system uh, is going to bring everything from very strong, very heavy snow, very strong winds, very heavy rainfall, flooding rainfall, severe weather. It's, it's honestly, I don't want to sound dramatic here, but truly this is the only system that I could possibly think of to compare kind of to the system to give you guys kind of a perspective on how um, potentially crazy and uh, impactful the system is. This system is pretty much kind of like the equivalent now of 27 years ago, the, uh, the storm of the century of 1993 in March of 1993 that pretty much affected the exact same areas with, again, severe weather in the deep south, Gulf states, the portions of the east coast. Um, storm surge flooding even was uh, the case in some regions, even as far north as Boston. And then there was, of course, lots of uh, very heavy snowfall, blizzard conditions, uh, very heavy, very strong winds as well, again, because of those blizzard conditions, and flooding rainfall. Uh, so, again, this is like pretty much kind of like the, um, this is like this year's equivalent to that storm 27 years later, which I find very, very interesting. But uh, again, that's kind of just like somewhat of a comparison to give you guys kind of the scope, kind of perspective of like how this storm is really like kind of shaping to be. But uh, this is, again, this is a very insane storm um, that's uh, going on. You can see pretty much for like pretty much the entirety of Virginia there is under a flood watch, um, except for the very, very southeastern portion of Virginia there is along the coast. But then as well, winter storm warning is in effect for the very, very western portion of Virginia, winter weather advisory there as well. Pretty much all of West Virginia is under a winter storm warning. Um, and it's, it's insane. Like, like many states, in fact, like all of um, Minnesota's under, let's see, all of Minnesota's under a blizzard warning, winter storm warning, winter weather advisory, and then what is this light blue? Um, what what is the light blue? Is that a, let me let me zoom in here. Let me see. Uh, light blue is uh, wind chill advisory as well. It's also under a wind chill advisory. So the whole state is pretty much under wet, winter weather alerts. Pretty much everything related to weather, winter weather is like the entire state of Minnesota is under that. That's insane. And uh, so, again, and then, of course, like farther east in the northeast of New England, there, like, let's say Pennsylvania, this is the most uh, extreme case. Pennsylvania is under a flood watch, uh, wind, uh, I believe this is a wind advisory, not a w high wind warning. Yeah, let me zoom in, um, check this out. Uh, it's a high wind warning there, uh, oh, this is just a hazardous weather outlook there for very, very southeastern Pennsylvania, including the Philadelphia area, but then the very, the western portions of Pennsylvania are under a winter weather advisory, so Pennsylvania is under both winter weather alerts and more kind of like alerts for, like, the springtime or summertime, you know, so that's just very, very insane. Now, let me show you, uh, with the GFS model, now I'm going to really zoom in mainly on the Northeast New England, show you the potential impacts of the Northeast New England, particularly shown by the GFS model. I'm only going to show you the GFS model, but I think this is really going to give you a good, um, uh, this is really going to show you, uh, very, very well of what the potential impacts will be from this storm. So we move this forward in time, and you can see, here comes that storm. There's, here's this cold front. You can see the temperatures are going to be very, very warm along the, this cold front along the, where you can see the rain, the very heavy rain is. And then there's the snow on the backside of that cold front with the very cold conditions. 
you can see that gets becoming very, very prominent. And you can see uh, here, let's just uh, uh, freeze it here. Let's, uh, this is at around 1 a.m. Um, overnight, Christmas Eve into Christmas morning. This is 1 a.m. Christmas morning, December 25th. Pennsylvania, the eastern half of Pennsylvania is dealing with very, very heavy rainfall and strong winds. And then going to central and western Pennsylvania, they're dealing with a mixed precipitation to snowfall. A pretty heavy snowfall at that, in fact, for uh, all of western Pennsylvania. That's insane. Very western New York, particularly the Buffalo area, and um, that's, they're experiencing snowfall, mixed precipitation to very, very heavy rainfall there for central to eastern New York state. We move this forward another frame. This is by, this is by uh, 7 a.m. on Friday, December 25th. Very, very heavy rainfall rates. This is rainfall rates of, this is rainfall rates of like four to six plus inches an hour. This is quite heavy rainfall. For you can see all of, pretty much all of New Jersey, uh, New York City, Long Island, Southern New York State. Majority of Connecticut, western and central Massachusetts, and very southern Vermont, and the very southwestern portion of New Hampshire. Very heavy rainfall going on along with those very strong winds as well. And you can see the snowfall is also overspreading a lot of western New York State, central western Pennsylvania, Virginia. You can see D.C. even looks to potentially be, go into some snowfall for a time, according to the GFS model. That's very interesting. Uh, and then West Virginia is also in some of the snow. Move this forward again, and you can see this rainfall. The cold front is really moving out there. And um, and then you can see there's those, the 540 line dives south. All, it's going to be very, very cold conditions. This is the 516, um, this is the 516 um, millibar line. And this is the 5, uh, what is this, the 5, I don't remember. Um, but in any case, uh, it's 522 um, line. That's, that signifies, by the way, just, just like kind of perspective, this signifies very, very cold air is going to be rushing in Christmas Day. Uh, pretty much, that's pretty much Christmas morning. Let me show you, actually, let me show you this uh, important. Let me show you just the temperatures. Here's the temperatures. Uh, let's move this back to, all right, so this is 1 to 2 a.m. This is overnight Christmas Eve into Christmas morning. This is 1 a.m. on December 25th, Friday, very early Friday morning. 50s and 60s widespread over a majority of the Northeast and New England. You can see around 60 degrees there in New York City, and then um, into southern New Jersey, Philadelphia, the Delmarva into the 60s, low to mid 60s. And then you can see there's that very sharp cold front. The, it's a very strong cold front. You can see um, temperatures of like upwards of freezing towards 40s, 50s, 60s, and then behind the cold front. 20s, teens, and uh, and 30s. That's very cold conditions. That's insane. And then going through the day to, um, of Christmas um, Day, this is 7 to 8 in the morning. And then moving towards 1 to 2 in the morning, you see the temperatures really start to drop off. And then as we get towards, this is now by um, 7 p.m. Christmas evening, temperatures are going to start plummeting as we get towards Christmas night. Temperatures are going to be widespread into the teens and 20s and 30s in a, pretty much all of the northeast New England, and then even single digits, in fact, for the mountainous regions of West Virginia. So that's, that's insane. That's how strong this cold front is. Just like Christmas Day itself, the temperature contrast throughout Christmas Day is going to be insane. Because like, you're going to be, like, in the morning, let's just say morning to early afternoon, you're going to be waking up, like, opening your Christmas presents, whatever, getting outside, maybe, if you want. It's going to be raining still and very windy. But if you do go outside, you're going to be feeling like, oh, wow, this is a pretty nice, warm day. This is very surprising. But then as you get towards mid to later afternoon into the evening, temperatures are going to be really dropping off very quickly. You're going to be like, whoa, it feels so much more like winter all of a sudden so quickly. That's going to be how crazy this cold front is. That's going to be how potent this cold front is. It's going to be very, very sharp and extreme it's really nothing no, no better word to describe this cold front from this storm as extreme nothing less than extreme uh now let me show you uh the winds let me show you the winds let me see if let me see if do i find the winds here here what's it here winds just the winds um let's move this forward in time you can see there's the winds 
a lot of uh, here the coastal coastal new england coastal northeast look to see winds again you can see there there's the reason of the high wind warning winds will likely be sustained again between 25 to 35 miles per hour and then gusting as high as 50 to 60 miles per hour you can see here's the sustained winds as high there's the greens here are anywhere from 20 to 30 knots this is a knot so 20 to 30 knots that's uh 25 to 35 miles per hour going into the yellows that's um around 30 30 to 35 knots and then the oranges into the reds is pretty much 35 to 50 knots of wind um, and you see the reds stay offshore, but still are bring, being streamed from the south to the north into the northeast and southern New England coastline. And just, again, it's going to be very, very strong and very persistent strong winds along with that heavy rain. So be very, it's going to be a very, very blustery, windy night, particularly Christmas Eve night, um, tomorrow night. So uh, even though it's going to start, the effects for a um, majority of these areas are going to start, you know, tomorrow into the afternoon or maybe late morning into the afternoon into evening. Um, those are when it's going to, that's when the conditions are going to start. You're going to really go downhill with the cloud cover. It's going to overspread and then it's going to start raining, get very windy. And then particularly for Western New York, um, Western Central Pennsylvania down through West Virginia and portions of Virginia are going to switch over to a mix over and snowfall um so and then of course the lake effect as well is going to play a huge factor into um those regions of um like erie buffalo syracuse watertown new york um, uh, um cleveland ohio you guys are going to be seeing some lake effect snow so that's going to um, add on to um that uh, snowy very much colder side to the storm as that um, cold front moves through those areas so Again, this storm is going to be very, very widespread, very, uh, just very extreme, pretty much for, like, everywhere from the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, down through um, the deep south, the southeast, up into the mid-Atlantic, northeast of New England. All of those regions are going to be feeling very extreme impacts from this storm. Um, so, again, it's, it's truly going to be one hell of a, a ride for a lot of us um, going going into tomorrow and into um a good bit of our christmas day itself even so uh again this is uh this has been my update on major extreme winter storm herald this is gonna be a very extreme storm for a lot of regions a lot of people so again if you guys if anyone watching this video is going to be impacted by the storm which i know a lot of you will be please comment below what uh what impacts you'll be feeling but because potentially i think some of you might be um, for watching my channel might be experiencing maybe the wintry side of it as well so that'll be interesting comment below if you're going to be in, be experiencing that wintry side to it but again really hope you guys enjoyed this video this has been my update on this big christmas storm and i uh, really got, hope you guys enjoyed this video please consider liking the video commenting on the video subscribing to my channel if you're a first time viewer of my channel and you like what you saw in today's video if you like this kind of content i'm going to be doing tons of this kind of winter weather related content big uh big um winter weather related storm content throughout the rest of this winter on my channel so if you guys like that kind of uh um weather related videos please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye